Washington, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell announced Tuesday the Senate would take up a long-awaited bipartisan bill that aims to reduce the number of people in the nation's crowded prisons. At the request of the president and following improvements to the legislation that has been secured by several members, the Senate will take up the revised criminal justice bill this month, the Kentucky Republican said. He added he would turn to it as early as the end of the week. An unusual coalition of Republicans and Democrats, conservatives and liberals, civil rights groups and the White House have rallied around criminal justice reform pushing for action on the latest effort, a Senate bill called the First Step Act. Despite the bipartisan push to act on the criminal justice bill, the effort had seemed to stall in the Senate. Pressure mounted in recent days with President Donald Trump urging McConnell to call up the bill for a vote. Trump welcomed McConnell's decision Tuesday. Looks like it's going to be passing, hopefully, famous last words, Trump said at the White House. It's really something we're all very proud of. Tremendous support from Republicans and tremendous support from Democrats. Lot of years they've been waiting for it. The measure has faced fierce opposition from some Republicans, including Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas, who said it would free too many prisoners, including violent felons. Cotton said he looked forward to debating a revised measure and introducing amendments to address his concerns, including the early release of felons who commit certain crimes. Unfortunately, the bill still has major problems and allows early release for many categories of serious violent criminals, he said in a statement Tuesday. Republican leaders had said there wasn't enough support within the party to pass the measure. But support continued to grow in recent days. By Monday, at least 34 senators, including Democrats and Republicans, had signed on to the bill. We have the votes. We're very confident, George Hartman, a spokesman from Senator Chuck Grassley, our Iowa chairman of the Judiciary Committee, told USA Today Tuesday. Senate Majority Whip John Cornyn, our Texas and Senator Rand Paul, our Kentucky, both supporters of criminal justice reform, predicted the bill would pass. I think you'll see a number of Republicans now come on board supporting this bill as amended, Cornyn said. The fact that people now know we're going to vote on it is going to cause people to have to make decisions. Paul who has co-sponsored several of his own criminal justice reform bills, said he expects close to 80 votes for the bill. Grassley, one of the lead sponsors, and Democratic Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois had launched a full-court press to push for action on the measure. Vice President Mike Pence and Jared Kushner, Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor, have visited the U.S. Capitol to rally Senate Republicans. The bipartisan group of senators made some recent tweaks securing support from more conservatives, including Texas Senator Ted Cruz and Georgia's David Perdue. In early fall, McConnell told Bill co-sponsors if they garnered 60 votes he would bring it up for a vote. But even after the group surpassed that number McConnell didn't budge. McConnell said on the Senate floor Tuesday it was Trump's support along with improvements to the bill that allowed him to bring it to the floor. Senator Cory Booker, D-N.J., a key player in criminal justice reform debate, said there were still discussions underway about some details of the bill, but he was optimistic any issues would be ironed out. I just talked to the White House earlier, moments ago, and we're going to keep working until we get it done, he said. The effort is not new. Republican and Democratic lawmakers had pushed for years to reform the criminal justice system but efforts stalled often over issues such as mandatory minimum sentencing. The House passed a criminal justice reform bill earlier this year, but advocates complained it didn't address the controversial issue of mandatory minimum sentencing. The Senate bill among other things includes provisions that give judges more discretion in sentencing offenders for nonviolent crime, particularly drug offenders, and aims to improve rehabilitation programs for former prisoners. We've never been closer, Republican Senator Mike Lee of Utah said last Tuesday at a panel hosted by the Washington Post Live Center. There's no reason why we shouldn't take a vote. This bill needs to pass this year. Senator Doug Jones, 
a Democrat from Alabama, agreed. When you get all of those people to agree on the same piece of legislation it's a no-brainer that we should get a vote, he told USA Today. We've got the opportunity to make this important step and we can't keep kicking the can down the road on such an important issue. Supporters of criminal justice reform said action on legislation is long overdue. Mass incarceration is probably one of the largest civil rights atrocities that currently exist, said Inamaya M. Cheddar, director of the justice program at the Brennan Center for Justice. Some advocates complain the Senate bill doesn't go far enough to address concerns, such as systemic racism that leads to unfair sentencing. Meanwhile, some applaud the effort to at least begin overhauling the criminal justice system. What's important is that if Washington does it, I think it encourages more states to do it as well, Cheddar said. With a busy legislative agenda, McConnell said senators should be prepared to work during the holiday week if necessary. Contributing, John Fritz, Herbert Jackson.